Hello guys, welcome back again. This is Suresh from Maze Automation Channel. Today in this session, we're going to learn about partial link text or an half link text. So in the last session, we have seen about link text and how we have worked with the links which are available within our page. And we're going to see today how we can work with half links. So if we have many links available within the page and we might be get confused with how many link text that we need to use. So there is some process where we can limit the text which is having large link. So we can decrease the length of that link and we can use in our automation. So let's quickly start this session and if you are new to this session, do watch my earlier sessions and also if you wanted to work with me and start writing the Selenium automation code. So you need Python to be installed in your machine and PyCharm editor we needed and Selenium libraries we needed and driver executable files we needed. So I have shared the links in the description box. You can find from there how I did all these installations. So let's jump into our PyCharm editor. And this is the demo project that we are using as part of this series. So this is the browsers folder where we have executable files and the test case folders we have all the test cases. So I'm going to right click to this test cases and I'm going to create a Python file which is test cases called partial link text. So I'm, I'm going to use this and as soon as I create I'm going to import web driver to import that we need to use from from selenium import web driver so after this statement we need to launch our browser so to launch our browser we have a command or we have a statement called driver which is nothing but a variable so this variable will hold our driver executable session which is nothing but web driver dot chrome so in this chrome we're going to provide driver executable file which is nothing but exe file so in the browsers folders i have maintaining all the exe files so i have shared the session link in the description you can find from there how i got this executable files so i am in windows operating system let me correct this path right after that i need to launch driver I need to use the same reference variable called driver maximize window and then after you have driver dot get statement so in the get statement we need to provide the application URL so I'm gonna provide this application URL here so let me add some comments so that you can refer later on So I have added the comment so that you can refer later on if you're confused with this line why I, ha I have added this line here. So after that we need to write our xpaths or we can call it as selenium locators. So we can say that finding the locators for right. So we're going to use the partial link text. So I'm going to use the driver reference, which is nothing but driver, driver dot find element. So we need to use the find element, not the find element. So I will show why we need to use find element here and uh, how we need to use the find elements later on. So by dot, so we need to use the partial link text. So let me import this by statement. So this by statement should come with Selenium web driver commons. So you need to import from there and after that once you click this dot and you will see all the available methods or all the available classes within that so i'm going to use the partial link text so this partial link text so why uh, from where we can get this link text so partial link text so once you open web page and if you see once you move over you will see some links here and you have this links here so i'm going to right click to this link which is available at the foot footnote which is nothing but messenger so i'm going to use this half of the text here so i'm going to use this half text so i'm not using the full text so as we are working with partial link text so this is the action to be used for click because this is a link and we need to perform click action after that i'm going to use the time dot sleep so that it will wait for three seconds after that i'm going to use driver dot close 
so driver dot close statement will close the browser so let me save and quickly run this so it is running now so this should click on messenger so it is showing as messenger so it has routed to that uh, messenger app so it is successfully done no errors and uh, let me try one more link so let me see this marketplace so we have market so i will use the marketplace as market or i will use this as place so i will use a place here so we'll see how many places links we have so if it is having one link it will perform click action on it if it found multiple then it will give error i think it has performed marketplace but i don't know where it has went but it is nowhere it has went so let me click on this marketplace okay this marketplace is again bringing back to our login page let me try this uh, content uploading so i'm going to use the uploading as a text partial text and I'm going to save right click to run the program. So it has showing that page is not working. So which means it has performed the click action on that partial link, but it is showing as error in the web page. So it is not our error. So it's from the web page. So in case if you wanted to know a partial link text without doing all these things, so where I have went to this page and performed or finding those links, partial links. So you can use the selector sub tool. So you can enable selector sub tool. And if you identify or find any link here, you can just click on that and you will see all the available text within that or all available elements will be available here in this section and you can see this partial link and link text so partial link it says half the link and you can see this for marketplace also so if i go to marketplace and try to see it is saying that half of the text is marketplace so this is the best way to find the, all the locators use this tool for your selenium web automation and in case if you have any questions queries or facing any errors you can post in the comment section i will help you out and thank you for watching